What's up everyone, you're here with Goran from Pig Dogs, and you're here for your free picks for Monday, September 18th. Well guys, even though it's Monday, we still have a few games from the top 5 European football leagues. Uh, we have a game in the EPL, we got a couple of games in Serie A, and we have uh, one game in the Spanish La Liga as well. Uh, but this is just a warm-up guys, because on Tuesday, on, on, on Tuesday and Wednesday we have the Champions League. Uh, it's finally back and then on Thursday we have the Europa League and the Conference League so uh, it's gonna be a very very busy week. Uh, for my best bets click the link in the description of this video that will get you up to my page on the Big Dogs website and there you can sign up. Uh, get that 3 day pass, 7 day pass that will get you covered all the way through the next weekend which means you get all the Champions League picks, you get all the Europa League picks, everything else in between and then you are covered all the way through the next weekend with the all the other leagues in, 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 in Europe and uh, MLS as well, so uh, that would probably be your best investment. Uh, let's get this show on the road, guys. Uh, Nottingham Forest and Burnley is Burnley is the matchup in the EPL that we have, and uh, Nottingham Forest uh, has done much, much better than Burnley has in this early season. Burnley is still without a single point in the EPL. They are yet to show anything so far this season. Uh, they have scored only... Uh, three goals so far this season, conceded 11 goals in three games. That's an average of almost four conceded goals per game. As far as Nottingham Forest goes, they have been much more effective. They have six goals, but they have also been defending a lot better with only six conceded goals. And uh, the only home game they played, they got a win. And uh, let's be honest, uh, Burnley, they still haven't played on the road. Maybe they will be better on the road than they, than they have been at home. Uh, but uh, instead of going uh, with the sides, I'm going to go with the goals in this one. I'm going to go with over 2.5 goals at minus 108, simply because I think that uh, Burnley sees this game as a chance to get their first f first points of the season, but for that to happen, they will need to score some goals. And then again, Nottingham Forest at home definitely will go for the win, because this is the opponent for them, and uh, if they want to avoid relegation or the battle for relegation, they have to win these types of games. So... Nodding a forest against Burnley over 2.5 goals. In La Liga, guys, we have this uh, what is expected to be a very hard matchup between Granada and Girona. And uh, you know what? As good as Granada has been, well, if we can say that they have been good, uh, Girona has been actually lights out when it comes to scoring goals. And they are undefeated in their last 10 games. They also haven't lost any of their last five games on the road. And... Um, they have been decent in this matchup against Granada in the past. Uh, when it comes to scoring goals, Girona has seven goals in four games. Uh, like I said, they've been decent when it comes to scoring goals, undefeated uh, in a while, and uh, Granada has been conceding a ton of goals. On, on average, they're conceding three goals per game in this early season, and on the road, uh, they have conceded eight goals, while at home they have conceded four goals in two games. So uh, everything is kind of pointing towards... Uh, uh, Girona on the road, but uh, I'm, I'm not going to take Girona on the money line. I'm, I'm going to take Girona's team total over 1.5 goals, which is plus 138. Uh, Granada might as well do something here. They might get a positive result, but uh, I think that however however we turn it around, I think that uh, that we see at least a couple of goals from Girona. So I'm going to take uh, Girona team total over 1.5 goals at plus 138. For the next two games, we are going to go to the Italian Serie A, and the first one is between Hellas Verona and Bologna. Now, I know that uh, Bologna is the better team here, there's no question about that, and uh, they have been in a bit better form than Verona has in this early season. But when it comes to playing in this matchup, especially at home, Verona has definitely been more than successful, and they have had a lot of positive outcomes, and uh, overall their form is not that much worse than Bologna's is. So... Uh, I think that Bologna deserves to be the favorites, yes, but I think that uh, that Verona has what it takes to get a positive result out of this game at home. So I'm going to take Verona on the double chance. It's minus 162. It is a bit pricey, yes. Uh, if that was a bit closer to minus 140 or so, maybe even we get there as we approach the game time. But minus 162 um, for the double chance, it is a bit pricey, but still pretty solid. So uh, I'm going to take Verona on the double chance. And the last game of this video is between Salernitana and Torino. Now, uh, Salernitana 
is actually without a win in their last three games. However, they lost only one of their last uh, six games, and they have lost only one uh, that they actually haven't lost in their last 11 home games in a row. Uh, the last home win uh, for Salernitana against Torino was back in 2004, so it's been a long, long time. Uh, while Torino on the other side, uh, I think that they will be one of those uh, teams that will be on the edge of Europe, somewhere close to it, but I'm not sure if they have what it takes to get through it. Uh, they have signed some players, they did get some reinforcements, they're mostly healthy, uh, but so far this season they have scored only two goals in three games, and uh, the only game they played on the road, they conceded four goals. Now, uh, I'm going to go a bit opposite here than um, what I was saying up until this point, because I have a feeling that Torino is going to get a win here. I think that Torino, in my opinion, is the better team here, the team with more quality than Salernitana has, despite the better form on the Salernitana side, but uh, I'm going to go with Torino on the money line, the plus 123. I think they're definitely due for a nice performance, especially on the road, and in my opinion, I think they have more depth and more quality, and uh, I think they will get a win here, so I'm taking Torino on the money line. That's it, everyone. Thank you for joining me here. These were your five free picks for Monday. Uh, like I said, stay tuned for the Champions League coming out on Tuesday. Uh, we will have uh, a free pick for all the Champions League games and uh, possibly maybe even all games for the Europa League. Uh, so subscribe to the Pink Ducks YouTube channel, guys. Hit that like button and uh, have a great Monday. Good luck with your bets and I'll see you soon.